Hi guys, how are you? It's me, LB. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. So I've come to bring good news for you today. I wanted to pull just a short reading with the Mystical Shaman Oracle and the Queen of the Moon Oracle for you this week, just to take the collective temperature. And it appears to me, and so you have just passed some kind of test you have just overcome something you have just accomplished something and i don't think that you realize how significant it is i've personally in my own life been asking god and the universe the, the forces of life when is the collective gonna get some good news like i really feel like the people need a win and i just want to know when it's coming and lo and behold i sat down to pull this short reading and here it is the good news is here now of course we want to thank the spirits for assistance in bringing this message through but we're starting off with the arrow and the eagle very powerful energies now you guys are coming forward as this eagle right here and it feels like you've been guarding some type of nest a nest egg it brings me back to two and a half years ago when i did a reading for scorpio a one card reading and this card came out that reading is called the silo and a silo is a contraption it's a it's a small building um it's a container in which you put harvests in grain corn um and you use it to sustain yourself through the winter through dry seasons and so you yourself may have been going through some very dry seasons you might not have seen a win in a really long time it might have been a very long time since you've seen a blessing or you've seen a breakthrough and so it's this feeling that you've kind of been living off a of hope or you've really been trying to stretch your resources or the last time something good broke through for you it's like you've really been having to milk it for really all it's worth and you've been very protective over it it feels like you've really been trying to be like a very good steward over what little you do have and as you're here in your process doing your thing all of a sudden out of the sky comes this little black ball here this feels like a curveball. It's as though someone, something, the forces of life try to throw you a curveball to distract you, to make you despondent, to kind of hit you in the shoulder and sort of throw you from the sky. But this arrow is coming out, which gives me the impression that I don't know what's different this time in comparison to the last time. But this time, it feels like you were able to spot it before it hit you. You were able to discern that there was interference coming your way. You were able to identify a challenge that was trying to knock you down a peg. And with this arrow, it feels like you caught it in time. You pulled back your bow and you shot it right through that poison apple. You shot it right through that black ball that we have right here. It's as if you were a baseball player on the field and someone tried to throw you a curveball but you caught it and you just you just hit a home run like you knocked it out of the park it's really phenomenal truly it is the crow is coming up next now crows are really symbolic of the spiritual and the magical realms crows are also very connected to like the underworld type of energy and when i look at this crow and how his head is like a little bit cocked on one side there's sort of this feeling from the spiritual realms of huh collective did it look at them they spotted it and they knocked it out of the park. It feels like on both sides of the spectrum, right? It's like the higher um, sort of echelons of like angelic light energy and even like aspects of darker energy, like the underworld, like both sides of the field are both saying, collective did it like i actually am surprised like there's a sense of surprise here because maybe you've been throwing a lot of curveballs and a lot of them hit you right in the chest right but this time something is different it's like you've been through enough shit that it's like you know how this game is played and you were ready and you were prepared for it and you knocked it out of the park and it feels like you're getting some kind of kudos um for being able to do that kind of from and through all realms now the upper world comes up next and something interesting that i'm seeing here are these blue orbs 
Do you see how there's a blue orb right behind this eagle? Do you see how there's another one right here? This one actually looks a lot like the earth. And there's one here as well. It's almost like they're making a line alignment you've come into a new alignment and when i'm looking at this world and i'm looking at this blue orb behind you and we have an eagle we have a crow we have the upper world we have the arrow this is very airy energy this has to do a lot with your thoughts your visual projections and it gives me that feeling that even if it's been a really long time since you've had a win there's something inside of you that decided to project like the best possible outcome for yourself that you kept this vision of what the world could be of what your world your life could be and it feels like you hung on to that vision you hung on to that idea you hung on to that belief even if there wasn't something tangible to show for it it's like you were so committed to this thing and because of it you see how it's behind you it's almost as if the light hit this world hit this vision and it allowed you to be able to see that this challenge was coming it's almost like reflected and refracted light like if you had two mirrors you projected what you wanted the world to be for you the belief system that you wanted to hold and when something else came in the light bounced right off of it and you saw it and you knocked it right out of the park. Like it's really incredible. Just like the swiftness and like the spiritual skill that is required in order to do both of those things at the same time. Now, as this is happening, this upper world card comes up next. So it feels like because you've been able to do this, there is something from the upper realms that's being dropped to you right now. It almost reminds me of those owls in Harry Potter, right? And it's like they come into the Great Hall and they like drop a package right on the table in the middle of the cereal for everyone. So like what's dropping in for you? This is where it feels like you accomplished some kind of challenge or you pass some type of test and there's like sort of a reward for it. So this is being dropped into you. And what is that? It's the tree of life and the beloved card. There's this feeling here that like the heartbeat is going back into your life. This tree of life, it talks about your destiny. It talks about your internal world. It talks about the physical world that exists around you as a part of your, you know, faded and, and destined path. And it's felt dry. And it's been a long time since there's been a win for you. And it's as if all of the leaves on this tree for a very long time were sort of wilted. Everything looked dead, everything looked dry, there wasn't a lot to show for your efforts, right? But then all of a sudden, this upper world character comes in and it drops the heartbeat back into your experience. It brings life back into your life. It's really interesting. And there's also something about a sense of accomplishment or a sense of knowing that you just did something impressive, that you just accomplished some kind of spiritual task or some kind of test that it also, because we're going from all of this airy energy and now we're looking at the heart and we're looking at a tree, right? We're looking at physical earthly energy. All of a sudden, it's like you got your heart back, almost like the Grinch, right? Because the Grinch is a trauma victim. Like the, the Grinch is someone who has been ostracized and made fun of for being different. And then all of a sudden, his heart grows three sizes bigger than it did. And so all of a sudden, it's like there's life back in you. There's hope back in you. There's confidence back in you. And all of a sudden, your life, your projects, your world, it's like it's back in the game as well. The heartbeat is back and attraction comes up next. It's so interesting. I think this is the only this is the only Queen of the Moon Oracle card that wanted to come out for you today. But then the Super Moon card comes out, Attraction. It's card number 44. There are a lot of fours in your reading today. So you might be seeing a lot of fours or a lot of duplicates of fours out and about in terms of like angel numbers, sacred numerology. But all of a sudden, now that the heartbeat is back in your life, back in yourself, that which previously felt out of reach for you that which only felt theoretical 
all of a sudden feels closer than ever. She is so close to this super moon and it says attraction. There's something about you now that has been magnetized because of this situation. And before it was only thoughts and prayers and dreams and a projection and this idea. But now it's like the clouds start to separate and the thing that you've been wanting, it's closer than ever. And it actually looks bigger than ever. So I wonder if this is one of those like double for your trouble type of situations. And the cool thing is you're just sitting here. It's like you did a lot of the hard work already and now you get to kind of sit back and feel your heartbeat again and look at things coming back to life around you because you know you're just like pulling in this shift, this change. Don't forget the moon represents cycles and the rainbow and the sorcerer come up next right so right here we're looking at like this really delicious like rainbow frequency which is a full spectrum of color and everything that goes into color like emotion and expression it's as if again you've only been stuck on one side of the rainbow where everything was blue and everything was gray and everything was bleak and all of a sudden it's like the colors coming back into your cheeks the colors coming back into your experience and here you are as the sorcerer again you're just sitting there and you're just watching it get closer and closer and closer to you and as the sorcerer this is something that it feels like you already divined this is something that was already prophesied to you this was something that you already saw a long time ago and you've been waiting a significant amount of time for it to finally arrive at your door and what I also think is interesting, thinking about sort of like these powerful mental projections of progress that you've been putting out there, right? It feels a little bit like a boomerang because again, this is a bird. This is symbolic of the messages that you've been affirming yourself with. This is symbolic of the thoughts and the beliefs that you've been putting out there into the world. And all of a sudden, like a boomerang, it's finally making its way back to you. And I don't know why the Grinch movie is all of a sudden like coming back, but it's this feeling of like he's in his little man cave and he's um like yelling into it and um nothing is responding it's like the echo isn't coming back and then finally at the very end right before he gives up the echo finally comes back and that's what this feels like there's four 48 and 41 here as well what you put out there it's like it's finally coming back to you there is like a slight moment and this is kind of see how there's this gap here this is a moment where you are gonna have to hold space but the difference between being in all of this airy energy to moving into more of this earthly energy is that it also feels like you have evolved from belief to knowing moving from i'm believing for this thing i'm hoping for this thing to i know this thing is mine i know that it's coming to me and i know it because i see it because it's bigger and it's closer than ever and all i have to do is just wait a minute it's so powerful to move from belief to knowing. Just spiritually, like the power that holds, it's tremendous. Now, the sun card comes up next, which is also really powerful. And do you see how there's like a bit of shading right here, right? It's like the sun has a wing that it's sort of using to cover like the majority of the light. That which was previously sort of hidden or covered from you, kind of pushed a little bit off to the side, all of a sudden is coming forward like in its fullness. And what's interesting is we see sort of um, this yellow circle right here, right? It's like some of the solar energy, but we also see the same thing in the sorcerer card, but it's in your body. So again, a lot of what you've been projecting out into the world, all of a sudden, like a boomerang, it's coming back and it's settling in you. Your heartbeat is coming back online. And when we look at the sun, what is it? It's a source of energy. So if you've been tired and if you've been feeling down and out, and if you've been feeling a little hopeless, but against all odds, you've really been trying to keep that vision in your mind of what the world could be and who you could be in it, 
it feels like that is coming back to you your energy is starting to return your optimism is starting to return you're moving from just belief and faith to deeply physically in your body knowing and that is also being reflected not just in your personhood but also in the color and the life starting to spring up around you as well right this is really what we talk about when we talk about divine alignment coming into alignment with the spirit right and i've said for a long time that in my estimation that's how manifestation works because the spirit moves before the physical and so it's your job to align the physical with the spirit and when that happens they lock in and like a claw machine things can start dropping down and changing for you the staff card is coming up next and this card talks a lot about power and it talks about a authority and there is a feeling here that perhaps for a long time there's aspect of this beautiful beginning warm sun energy that has been sort of kept away from you hidden pushed to the side until you stepped into your authority as a human being to say no i don't accept less no i know things look bad right now but i am gonna believe so hard until it becomes a knowing i'm gonna keep that vision in my mind because i have the authority to do so and once you stepped into that authority again something shifts in your vision and you were able to see the interference you were able to see the curveball and instead of cowering you step forward with your staff with your arrow and you knocked it out of the park it's like a spiritual boundary you said no i don't accept that i'm waiting for this vision here and when that happens the sun comes back out for you to confirm and reaffirm how much power you actually do have because Pachamama comes up next and there is sort of like this rumbling, this thunder energy that comes off of her, right? And it's this idea of when you took your staff like Gandalf and said, no, you will not pass. This interference is not coming through. I'm not going to be distracted. I'm not going to be thrown off my course. If anything, I'm going to reaffirm myself even more. It's like the ground starts to rumble because the earth is waking back up. Again, she's coming out of hibernation. She's getting her heartbeat back. And all of a sudden, it becomes much more powerful and magnetized. And technically, the last card in your reading is this Andean cross, which made me giggle because if you've been with me for years since I got this deck, you know that this is my spiritual baseball card because this card talks about the multi-dimensionality of the spiritual process. But when I look at it, it looks like bases on a baseball field, which I think is so interesting. So it's the idea of like, you took this staff, you put it down right in the middle of all the action. The earth woke up. The upper world looked down and they all came into agreement with you and there's like a huge test or challenge that you passed by stepping into that authority, by reaffirming yourself and now that which only felt theoretical and out of reach now all of a sudden feels incredibly tangible to you in a really powerful way. And some of the cards at the bottom of the deck were so interesting to me because self-love and the holy mountain came out through loving yourself, guarding yourself, guarding, she she's covering her heart, guarding your heart from disappointment and reaffirming your authority and your power has allowed you to tap in to the frequency of this holy mountain, which is like a spiritual skill, a spiritual acuity, and it allowed you to grow in spiritual posture, to grow in character, to grow in your sense of self on top of the world, imagining yourself on top of the world and not being stuck underneath it, right? As the head and not the tail. And that allows you now to step forward into this action card, which feels to me like the pitcher. You had knocked it out of the park, that curveball, but now you get to stand right in the center on the pitcher's mound. And when I look at this action card, it sort of looks like when a pitcher, um, like throws their arm back and throws their leg back before they throw a ball in the game, which says that you are stepping much more further. You're stepping much further into a 
position of being a co-creator, of being back in the game, being back in to action, being able to affect real tangible change in your life because you have the confidence and the authority to do so and you're not intimidated by spiritual challenges because you're able to identify them and deal with them head on and keep it moving on your path now. It's so cool. Like it's such good news. So this is what I have for you today. I am going to go do an extended reading. So if you're interested in your extended reading for this to see what else wants to come out, you can follow me over to Vimeo. If you're looking for Zodiac readings, you can find them over on Patreon. You can join our Patreon family, um, but I'll also link all of the Zodiac readings for February in the description box for you as well. I do offer personal readings. You can book with me through my website if you're interested, but I appreciate you being here. I hope this was encouraging to you. I love you so much and I will see you next time. Goodbye.